Yes, I'm Dennis Sobin. I'm the director of the Safe Streets Arts Foundation. I'm here at the Woodman Park Hotel, a Marriott Hotel in Washington, D.C., where a conference is being held by the group CFED, uh, called the Innovators Marketplace, uh, geared to nonprofit organizations finding ways to build assets, income, within their organization. Uh, we are here showing off our prison art uh, with my associate, Ms. Argentilia Boche, and she is, and I am, uh, showing the art to people who are coming by. There's been quite a few people here who have visited us. Uh, some have uh, made donations, some have bought art, some have uh, bought our CDs of music made in prison. And you can see there's quite a bit going on here and we're very happy to be here in Washington, D.C. doing it. The focus, of course, of the Prison Art Gallery, uh, which the Safe Streets Arts Foundation maintains, is on showcasing the talent of men and women in prison and their humanity. We do that by displaying and showing their art, and also with our annual program at the Kennedy Center, part of the Page to Stage Festival, where the work, the dramatic work, as well as the music of men and women in prison are featured, are done very professionally. Uh, and uh, again, a beautiful display here. Uh, they've given us time, space, uh, right at the entrance uh, and the exit here. So uh, there's quite a bit here that we're doing, and we're very happy to be here. Uh, there's also going to be a reception in a little while, and we're going to have a chance to network with a lot of people at that reception. Uh, so, uh, if you're in the area of Washington, D.C., please come to our prison art gallery located at 1600 K Street, just a few blocks from the White House, and also be sure to attend our annual programs at the Kennedy Center featuring the music and dramatic works written by men and women in prison, as well as ex-prisoners. Thank you. Yes, this is uh, art done by men and women in prison. Uh, and we have uh, a sheet for you here. Uh, we also have a website, everything created by men and women in prison. Uh, we do both wholesaling. Right here in Washington, D.C., yes. Open every day, free admission. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. Everything done here by men and women in prison, uh, and part of the staff here. Yes, yes I am staff. Yes. So these are done by people. In every prison. right. Every everybody. Everything you see here was done by men and women in prison, and we have everything from CDs of music created in prison to books written by prisoners and ex-prisoners to, uh, and of course, our art is the main feature here. Uh, <laughs> all of the art done. Uh, by men and women in prison. Um, and we also wholesale it too, so if an organization wants to use it as a fundraising project, they can do that. Uh, everything being at half the price here. Of course, that applies to the prints. The original, there's no flexibility with uh, the inmates get half the proceeds of those. It's a very worthwhile project. What prints do you recommend? The name of the organization? Uh, is Sure, and so do you work in one particular location? Or uh, do you we have a an art gallery in Washington, D.C., okay. just a few blocks from the White House. It's described in the literature there, and quite a bit can be seen on the website itself. Um, but we have affiliates around the country here, and we train volunteers to go inside prison to uh, act as mentors to okay. people who want to get involved in the art. And we have a warden, for example, on our board. We have a former prosecutor on our board. We have a number of ex-prisoners, such as myself, who are part of the organization. So we cover all our bases, and we know what we're talking about, because we do that. <laughs> so you guys work on the side of, of working with the prisoners to create the art? Yes, as both therapeutic and rehabilitative program. And something's going to start here. Thank you. See you on YouTube. <laughs>